Hello, today I will be talking to you about the Identity Experience Framework within Azure AD B2C and its custom policies. Azure AD B2C allows you to create unique and tailored user experiences with its flexible and powerful Identity Experience Framework. Using our framework and its custom policies, you can create from common scenarios to the most customized user experiences that can accomplish your business requirements. Here are some samples of what you can achieve with Identity Experience Framework. With phone-based sign-in, users can come to your application and authenticate using their phone number instead of using a username and password. Azure ID B2C then will send the user a temporary code via text message or call that the user will use to finish the authentication process. Azure ID B2C allows you to connect to external systems. Perhaps you might already have a CRM system in place or a database on-premise that you would like to use to enrich the user profile. With the Identity Experience Framework, you can call external systems using APIs. This gives you the flexibility to store your data where it is more convenient to your business. When interacting with users, our advice is to keep the experience simple, with as few questions as possible. However, we understand that you might need more data from the user to run your business. Progressive profiles help you get more users to finish the authentication process so that they can reach the end goal which is to use your application while you get the information you need. The first time when the user creates the account, only the most fundamental questions are asked to get them started. Then on each consecutive time when the user comes back to authenticate, few more questions are presented. The user then can choose to provide such information or to skip it. Third-party user verification is a popular feature. It allows you to verify the information you are receiving from the user with a third party. This third party can be a CRM system, a database, or some other system. For example, if I'm a government, I might want to verify the user's driver license so that only citizens of my state can create an account in my application. Similarly, I might need to verify a loyalty number, a contract ID, a membership, or the user existence in a database before allowing them to create an account. It is likely that you already have an application and that you already have a directory before coming to Azure AD B2C. You will need to migrate your users, and we have the perfect solution. Using time migration allows you to migrate your users to Azure AD B2C in a seamless way. Our policies allow you to display the same UI as in your own directory, keeping your brand's look and feel so that your users cannot tell the difference. Then, when the users sign in, they are authenticated against the old system. If the authentication succeeds, the user is marked as migrated and the user password is stored in Azure AD B2C directory. If the authentication with the old system fails, it means that the user didn't have the right password or could not remember it. Therefore, the user is asked to reset the password. The using time migration is usually on for six months. After that, all users that haven't come to the application during that time period are asked to reset their passwords. Your users will never know that they are now using a different directory. A-B testing comes in handy when you need to make changes to your current user experience. Perhaps you might want to give a modern and a sleek new look to your app. You can implement those changes direct a small percentage of your users to the new flow. Then you can compare the two experiences and see if the new flow is bringing more users to your application. This way, you can take a data-driven decision and improve the user experience. Azure AD B2C is GDPR ready. The Identity Experience Framework makes it easier for you to comply with the regulations. For example, you can create a custom policy that gets the user country and day of birth. If the user is underage, you can block the user from creating an account, or you can direct them to the section of your application that is allowed for minors. Are you ready to get started? Visit our documentation on how to get started with the Identity Experience Framework. We also have a GitHub community page that will help you take your custom policies to the next level. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.